Okay, coming up later in the show, Young Love blooms in a girls' boarding school in Lost and Delirious. And coming up next, Chris Rock is the man behind Pootie Tan. Man, Pootie done did it again! Lance Crowther plays Pootie Tang in Pootie Tang, and I hope you think the name Pootie Tang is funny because everybody in Pootie Tang constantly says Pootie Tang. I did too. I thought, why can't you be funnier, Pootie Tang? Why are you in a full-length movie called Pootie Tang when you're nothing but a sketch character from the Chris Rock show, Pootie Tang? Rock shows up as the young Pootie Tang's father, so I guess that makes him Mr. Tang or maybe Pootie Sr. Don't you grab them peas without asking your mama, boy. May I dane on the cherries, mama D? Yes, you may, Pootie Tang. Now that's better. You got to have respect to get respect, Pootie Tang. I laughed hard at some of the childhood flashback scenes, but the grown-up Pootie Tang is a tiresome character who's no more articulate than Mushmouth from the old Fat Albert cartoon series. Say to Shane, my Billy. Same as always, baby. That's Wanda Sykes as Pootie's wannabe girlfriend, Biggie Shorty. Just like everybody else in the movie, her main purpose seems to be to wear funny outfits and talk about the wonderfulness that is Pootie Tang. The problem is that Pootie himself has no real zing. He's a marginally funny mope whose wacky catchphrases quickly become tired and limp. Like the Tim Meadows character, The Ladies' Man, Pootie is a five-minute bit that simply doesn't have the heft to stretch into a full-length film. I seriously doubt that I'm going to sign your pity on the runny kind sipate is going to sweep the nation. But here's a catchphrase worth remembering. Pootie Tang stinks. You know, I think it's a lot worse than you give it credit for. I think this is really, <laughs> really? hardly even a movie at all. I mean, if you take out the opening credits and the endless end credits with right. the music video under them, this movie is barely 70 minutes long. Yeah. And I noticed in those endless end credits that the end credits and the opening credits were directed by a different person who, than the person who directed the movie. And I'm going to propose to you, this movie was never finished. Really? That this movie does not feel like it's ready to be released. It mm -hmm. feels like there are missing scenes, missing payoffs, missing yeah. introductions, and basically a missing movie. This is just like outtakes. These are, these are like the deleted yeah. scenes, and they're holding the movie back from us. We, we got the second is, disc of the DVD is, without is getting not, the original. Yes, it's not <laughs> merely bad, it's incompetent. If you do go to see Booty Tank, go out and get some junior mints, come back, you won't have missed anything, then maybe go check on your car, mm -hmm. call the kids, see how they're doing, and you won't have missed a thing at all. <laughs> That's, why why did you word, tell me that another before the movie started? Okay. <laughs> Coming up next, Passion and Rebellion Collide in Lost and Delirious, starring Piper Perabo. And looking ahead to next week's show, we'll review Jet Li and Bridget Fonda against some corrupt cops in Kiss of the Dragon.